Hey Rifters, welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out some Alien Isolation. Now this game didn't originally announce that it had Oculus Rift support, but some very clever guys found it in the config files and found out how to enable it. And it's not some third party support. It's actually in the game, which is really nice to see because positional tracking actually works. You can lean in, lean back and everything. The game runs really well or has so far. I've only played it for about 10 minutes so far. Haven't even got to the aliens yet. So as you can see from the screen I am using a controller. It's just easier with the Oculus Rift than having to lean so close to the keyboard and mouse. Now I'm not sure how far into the game it is before you actually hit aliens so I might not have any aliens on this video I'm probably going to be doing a let's play of this or at least another video showing off the aliens and stuff like that. One thing I noticed that the scaling seems a little bit off. It might, like when you walk through doors, your head, my head's like inside that door. That might be why they didn't actually officially announce Rift support. The hallways are uh, somewhat small, but you are in a spaceship, so that could be why. I mean, a spaceship's got to save space, I guess. So I'm kind of just wandering around here. I can't even really remember where the hell to go. So let's go ahead and hit the map. The map works really well. It's out in front of you, which which works good for the rift. Let's see here. Okay, I need to go directly behind me. Connor, how we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. I can see your eyeballs. <laughs> Gotta love positional tracking. You can watch the approach on the monitors. Collect your briefing document. Alright, so everything I can read just fine. Watch out, lady. I can read everything just fine. The menus work well. So this is probably going to be a really decent experience. I'm kind of baffled at why they wouldn't have announced this as Rift support. Because the game... Whoop. The game looks really good. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. When you lean through walls, it does black the screen out so you can't look through walls. Just kind of disorientating, but I can see why they would do that. So we got a really crappy window here, a really dirty window at least. What's going on, guy? You seem to be a little bit taller than me. Now I don't know where the hell my documents are. Where the hell is the documents? There we go. Let's collect these documents up. Alrighty, guys, so I went ahead and skipped the cutscene just to save from some spoilers there. But it starts you out inside the, the new space station and you're inside your suit, which is very freaking cool because I can see my mask, which kind of helps with the fact that I'm wearing a mask in real life. So it is in 3D. It is popping out in front of me, looks, which looks really cool. Find help. What's this? Alright. It's gonna give me some health. Oh, I took my suit off. I didn't want to take my suit off. Damn it. Alright guys, so I've been playing for, I don't know, over an hour now. I haven't had any problems with VR sickness, but I don't normally have problems with that. But. I've only seen the alien once, and that was in a cutscene. Hopefully he shows up pretty soon. If not, I'm probably just going to go ahead and edit this video and get it over with. Oh, that particle effect looks really cool, little dust particles. But anyway, let's go ahead and search this room. I've got to disable the security system. Go ahead and pick up some goodies. Those freaking vents scare the crap out of me. I always think something's going to jump down at me. It's probably good that I do. Disable security slot down. All right. Uh, come on, disable. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, that is not good. Oh, crap. Oh, what do I do? 
What the hell? I, I can't see anything. The fuck? Okay. Oh, it pushed me into the goddamn wall, didn't it? Oh, that's freaky. Definitely not something you want to mess with, especially in virtual reality. Okay. Where did he go? Okay. Get the blood flowing a little bit. Let's see here. Know where the hell he went? I guess up there. Screw it. Let's go ahead and remove this thing. Hopefully, I don't get stabbed in the back. Come on, you can do it. Straightforward. Don't want to screw up their orientation. I did find a pistol, by the way. I have not had a chance to use it yet. I've been pretty much going stealthy. Came from there. Running around is probably not the smartest thing to do, but I've been playing for freaking over an hour, like I said, so I'm kind of ready to die. Now, there was some people in this other room before. Hopefully they're not there anymore, but if they are, I guess I'll get to test out my weapon. Shoot, bam, and bam. I really actually like this little mechanic where you got to unlock the doors and there are security codes. What the hell is that? A gun floating in the air. Okay, that's... Somebody's getting killed. <laughs> That's what y'all get from trying to kill me, bastards. Oh, and he's dead. Let's go ahead and make a run for it. Oh, okay, let's not... Oh, shit. Ah, fuck! No! Oh, shit! Oh, that was freaking brutal. Holy crap, and I did not save it. Oh, wow straight in the head that is so cool <laughs> oh man alright so I'm gonna have to go through all that again and I do not feel like doing it right now like I said I've been playing this for quite a while now which I will be cutting out most of it because most of it was just exploring and not too exciting so if you do pick up this game and you have a DK2 you might want to just play it on a monitor for the first hour until you get to the aliens but anyway, guys, this is actually really great in the Rift. I'm surprised they did not add the Rift support natively or say that they did. I've only run into a couple bugs, one being orientation gets messed up whenever you do certain things and you have to keep your head still while you're doing it. The other is some clipping issues, which ain't that big of a deal. Like when you lean through walls, it does black out so you can't peek through them. But overall, it's definitely a very good experience. The game looks incredible in the Rift. The controls work really well. I am using a controller, and usually on games like this, I like a mouse and keyboard, but with the Rift, as always, it just works better. But anyway, guys, if you have any comments, questions, or game requests, please post them below. If you like this video and would like me to play maybe a Let's Play of this, comment below, and maybe I'll do that. If you haven't hit me up on Facebook and Twitter, do that as well. And thanks for watching, guys. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>